All right, boom, boom, boom. 20 battery, 20% battery on the mic. Are you kidding me? Whatever, y'all can hear me. I think I'm going to clip this hole. Forgot you could clip this hole. I like the way you. So I got these steaks. I'm going to cook these up. I think these will be best grilled up. It is raining, but they'll be best grilled up. <laughs> and I didn't want to roast garlic because it's going to take too long, but, but I could toast the garlic in a pan. Ooh, I could toast the onions, garlic in a pan, like a Mexican salsa style. And then blend that, blend that with, um, with the cream. Blend that with the cream, some chicken bouillon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so we outside with it. No jacket on or nothing. I'm wild, huh? I'm gonna grill these damn steaks. I've just been dropping like raw content, raw vlogs. That's what I like to drop, man. Sometimes I don't want to have to do all these like effects and shit. Like, I like using effects when I want to use effects, but I don't feel like I need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just literally showing y'all what I do on a Sunday, you feel me, in La Puente. All right, so we got the grill, it's on high heat. So we're just gonna let this um, heat up. Yeah. Also, I cut my hair. <laughs> I cut my hair, you feel me? I was gonna get it braided and I was like, I just I had an urge to cut my hair and I just did because it's I like I like how my hair looks when it's just like this. I feel like I look cleaner and it's less maintenance. The day will come though where I grow my hair out. But I don't think it's gonna be today. Well my hair's growing out all the time because it's always grow <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Like braid braid, there will be an era of masculine braids, Christian, because I've had braids, but I was like feminine presenting, but there will be an era of mask braids, Christian. There will. All right, so I'm gonna chop the veggies now and then cook them and I'll show you when they're cooking. Let me close the window. I said, damn, I feel like a mukbanger. I don't think I need a knife. So pretty much, I don't know if I can see. We got a ribeye steak, chipotle alfredo with roasted garlic onions. And we got some just steamed broccoli. And then of course, drinking the strawberry lemonade with um, chopped up strawberries, actual strawberry lemonade, freshly made by me. This looks glorious. I really feel like a mukbanger right now and I'm really finna embrace that. Let's try this Parmesan Alfredo. It's really, I call it an Alfredo, but it's literally just like chipotle, garlic, onions, red pepper, cream, Parmesan, and then some spices. Look at that. Money. Mm. Mm. Not too spicy either. I didn't put that much chipotle because those shits be hot. It's a piece of steak. Mm-hmm. Broccoli. Grab some salt for the steak. I'm gonna put a little bit of just the oil on the steak. That's bomb. Like I say, y'all, I was trying to do it simple, but bomb. 
what y'all think about me doing like food content for real? Cause everybody knows I cook, but I don't know if y'all see me eat. I wanted to do like challenges and stuff like that. <clears throat> Just because I grew up watching like men versus food and all these like food creators that do challenges and things like that. So clearly I have a liking to it, right? Mm. But yeah, yesterday um, I had Dave's hot chicken in the night and in the daytime, I just had some real light stuff. I had some beef and vegetables, um, some sausage, fruit. That's about it. And in the days, the days was like my meal. So I was hungry. I ain't got the dentist. My teeth hurt when I eat. It might be because of they're sensitive though because sometimes I'll drink something or eat something really hot and then follow it with something cold. Or drink something really cold and then follow it with something hot. I feel like it's messing my teeth up. I forgot I have a mic on. So y'all can hear me like extra. A little ASMR moment. Steak with the chili oil. And sometimes, like when I go to the store and I want to go, it's fun. But I feel like when I go to the store, I don't really want to go. It messes up my feng shui. So I Instacart and stuff. The steak that the guy picked out for me, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. But I'll usually pick like the more marbled ones. Like, it's still a great piece of steak, nonetheless. But I usually go for the ones that have more marbling throughout the whole piece of meat. It just makes everything more tender and flavorful. Mm. Nonetheless, though, still great. Maybe this was God telling me that I don't need that much fat in my steak today. Mm. This is bomb. Sometimes though, I find that it's a little bit too crunchy. Like I know it's chili crunch oil, but sometimes the pieces of garlic or onion are like really hard. Smacking. Um, what I ate today. It's about five o'clock now. And so far I've had cantaloupe juice, strawberry lemonade. I've just been juicing really, cleaning my system. Yeah. Now we grow. But yeah, um, how y'all feel about pets? All right, I wanna know in the comments, like your first dog, or your first animal that takes like a lot of care. Cause I've had guinea pigs before. I've had a bunny. They don't require as much care as like a dog. Where a dog I have to be constantly like through child what he's doing all day as he's walking over here. Um, like a baby having a dog. So I just want to know, how did y'all like adjust to the new responsibility? Did you know it was going to be that? Did you know it was going to be like that? Or did you kind of just get the, the pet and was like, whoa, For me, I got him and I was like, whoa. Um, remember I took him to the vet for the first time and um, the vet, after he checked him out, he told me, you know, this dog is like a baby, right? He's like, you're gonna have to, they can't do anything for you. Like, of course they love you, but they can't do anything for you. It's all about them. And I was like, huh, huh. This is about a year and a half ago. 
and I, I understand, you know. But this is God's plan, though. You know, um, this dog was brought into my life for some reason. But it is hard, and I'm just in that. It's also harder, too, when I'm in school because having to go to school, make sure they're good, it's a lot. I feel like it's not a big problem during like the summer or a break. You know, probably why people with like nine to fives don't have pets, but then some do. They leave them at home with family members or they have a system that works, so. I think it's just about <clears throat> finding a system that works. This chili crunch kind of spicy. But once I started putting it, I can't go back. Mom. It's a good steak. I ain't gonna cap. It's a good steak. Pasta. I needed a meal that was gonna stick to me. If I eat this, I'm set. You know? Pretty chill though. Nonetheless, I love my life. I think sometimes I'd be complaining, or not even complaining, but I guess complaining or saying my problems, and I forget how blessed I am. I gotta just remind myself out loud, like I'm blessed. There still is a good amount of fat on here, though. I don't eat all the fat. If it's like, like this, see how there's like fat, but it's connected to like all that meat. <laughs> then it's going down. But if the ratio is like more fat than meat, I'm good. It's like a texture thing. Just pure fat in my mouth. I can't do it. Unless there's some titties or something. But like, food? Nah. Everything turned out bomb. Pasta wasn't too spicy. This is fucking delicious. Um, Trader Joe's sponsored me. Please and thank you. I literally do so much shopping there. One day. Cause like, let me tell you why it will help you out, Trader Joe's. Give me a sec so I can pitch my idea. So my idea is, you sponsor me, right? And then I do my videos, I'm cooking, I'm eating, and I'm, I'm constantly flexing the Trader Joe's logo. I'm telling everyone, making this salmon that I got from Trader Joe's, making this that I got from Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, got my water from Trader Joe's. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna continuously say Trader Joe's. People are gonna hear that. I, I promo y'all in my everyday life, but I don't, let's not even talk about that because I just do that out of the kindness of my own heart. But if you really do 
want to sponsor your boy, it's gonna it's gonna help y'all. And look, it's not gonna cost y'all nothing. The amount of recommendations y'all gonna get is gonna be thousands of millions of dollars. <laughs> excuse me, off of me talking about Trader Joe's, and all y'all gotta give me is like two hundred, three hundred dollars a month for groceries. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like in the in the end of things, it's an investment on your end, but it's gonna it's gonna be paid back in full, baby, in full. You feel me? Like. I feel like I bring a lot to the table, and so do you. So us working together, it's gonna happen. Last piece of steak. It's not the last piece, though. I have literally one and a half, a whole half, and a whole steak. So one and a half pieces of steak. Mm. Look at that. A little fat right there. See, I don't mind fat, but sometimes they'll be looking at me like, hi, I'm fat. That was so stiff. That's my hat. I couldn't go all the way back. Mm. Let's try. The broccoli with some chili crunch. I don't really do much to it, it's just broccoli. I feel like it's better on other things. Maybe I just like broccoli by itself too. See, it's strong. And dare I say, mission accomplished? 